Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to this leap year energy activation. I want to first give a brief collective message that actually that I received that prompted the idea for this activation. And then we will get into the guided meditation, energetic transmission portion of this. I will timestamp in the description when the activation begins. Okay, so leap year. This is an incredibly significant time period for us right now. For the past several days, I have been getting these energetic reminders, these memories, a similar feeling energy that I had right whenever the world shut down due to the pandemic. And I went into meditation and received why I was re why I was getting all of these energetic reminders. The last leap year that we had was right around that time um, when everything changed collectively. It affected all of our individual lives and collectively uh, the past four years, there has been rapid ascension. There have been several quantum leaps that we took collectively that has shifted our ascension timeline. So if you were to look at a projected timeline as far as ascension, we're way ahead of schedule because of what we did energetically in the last four years. The last four years also brought up the deepest, darkest shadows um, within many and also in the collective. It brought it all up to the light of awareness. Now, I bring this collective message through with love and respect for that time period, the time period of these last four years. I know that it was experienced differently by everybody, and so I honor your journey, I honor the journey of everyone. And the message that's coming through is, is coming from a spiritual perspective, although there's many different ways that we can look at this time period. Um, but I do want to say that it is not coming through to be dismissive of what we went through collectively, what anybody may have experienced in their personal journeys. So the main message that I received of why this was so significant at this time, well, first it was, like I said, that was the last leap year that we had. Um, it prompted me to look at previous leap years, which it's just every four years. Um, but another leap year was 2012. 2012 was a significant leap in spiritual ascension. Then 2016, I know in my personal journey, was a huge leap in spiritual ascension. 2020 and then it brings us to today so the main message that is coming through and what i was being reminded of and shown was at least in my own journey and i know many can relate to this it's almost like we felt something coming we knew something was coming um, and then we were seeing the physical evidence of that and it's almost like one day everything just shifted, right? I remember waking up one day and just everything changed and it never went back. And even though people I remember at that time would say, I just want things to go back to normal. I remember thinking in my mind, there is no going back, right? We, we cross that threshold. That is where we are once again but this is not coming through and this is important this is not coming through to induce fear it is coming through to encourage us to embrace this timeline that we ascended into with that same energy and that same perspective of this is brand new and things aren't going to be like the, what they were before but in a beautiful way, in a desired way, in a way that we consciously created. And so there may be, likely will be, shifts, a lot of shifts that we see in the 3D, but the message that is coming through me to anybody listening to this at this point in time is to focus your attention 
your light, your intentions on being, embodying, embracing, walking within this highest timeline that we already leapt into and allowing that to ground in further and further and further. Again, it's like the same energy where things aren't going to be the way they were before. But for you, for everybody listening to this, my intention and the message that I'm getting, if if we so choose to align with it, right? Because we have our free will choice. So if we so choose to align with this highest timeline that we're in, it's going to be one of a lot of freedom, a lot of freedom, free from limitation, um, just new experiences, new downloads, new, a ton of new things being brought forth by you, by all of us, that, that we are ready to bring into this earth now, that is ready to be introduced now. It's going to be a lot of things that we once thought were impossible now being made possible. Also, the final message that's coming through before we'll start this activation is I remember before, it was right before everything shifted. Um, and in my perspective, it was a huge quantum leap in our, in our ascension when everything happened four years ago. And again, I say that with respect and reverence for every what everybody experienced um, and absolutely not bypassing that. But I remember I ran a metaphysical group, um, an in-person metaphysical group, and everybody in that group was like, something's about to happen, something's about to happen. And a lot of people in that group have been had been on the spiritual journey for many, many years. And they kept saying, we always were talking about ascension. We, you know, the ascension symptoms, and we always were like, it's almost here. We know it's coming. We know it's coming. We know if you follow Dolores Cannon and other spiritual teachers like Bashar and have kind of predicted the the split in consciousness, the new earth, the 5D, all of that, everybody kept saying, it's actually here. What we knew was going to happen, it's actually here. And we didn't know physically how that was going to play out and pan out. We also didn't know at that time that we were going to, in four years, take many quantum leaps collectively and get far beyond what we could have imagined in our ascension. That's where we are now in your journey and also how you envision the new earth, both. It's like we're at that point where we always knew it was gonna happen, right? We had these vision for, for our lives maybe or for the new earth or you know how we just really wanted to embody our energy more fully, more completely. It's like we knew it was gonna be here. We knew there had to come a day when it was here. And that day, that time period has arrived. So we have quantum leapt onto our highest timeline collectively. And this energy activation is going to be a fully embodying that energy um, and letting go of what was, letting go of the limitations. It's a lot of energy I've been bringing through in my activations lately, but I was really guided to bring it through in this context. So that's what we're going to do now in this energy activation. Okay, so thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Um, if you are new to my videos, I'm an energy channel. I will be connecting to the energy of the leap year and channeling this energy through me into the session to receive an energy activation always for your highest and best good, per your intentions and desires and what you're ready for. If you're open and receptive to receive this activation, please just say yes. Okay, I'm going to take a minute to connect energetically and begin the channeling, and then we'll go through a bit of a guided meditation. As I connect energetically, allow yourself to relax, to surrender.
sinking into this now moment. The now moment is always where the transformation happens. So without focusing on anything, just allow yourself to be here right now. We are calling in your angels, guides, ancestors, benevolent beings of light, also ascension guides, those who can assist each and every one of us. These are different councils, star beings. We are being very assisted right now, calling those who hold your highest and best good within their energy, within their intentions, calling them to assist you. Protecting your space, creating a sacred space where you are. And before we begin or go deeper into this session, we are calling to the surface all of the old limitations of the human mind, of the human body, the human belief system, calling forth all of those old, outdated programs and limitations to the surface. Where we are going, we can't take them with us. It's time to be done. So without overanalyzing anything, just allowing your team, your higher self, this divine intelligence of the energy I'm channeling to bring up those limitations that do not serve you, everything does not serve you, then on a soul level, you are ready to release at this time. And that divine, golden, shimmering white light is surrounding you. And it is extracting from you all of those previously held limitations. These have been deeply ingrained in the human psyche, stemming from old survival programming that was once needed but is not. Deep within our ancestry, passed down for generations and generations deep within our soul and energetic imprints are gently and lovingly being extracted from you now, whatever you are ready to release, whatever your higher self and your soul says, I'm ready to release. And for some of you, if you feel like it, you can intend to release them all. as these are being extracted by this divine intelligence in loving grace they are being transmuted just surrender and allow if you are having a challenging time silencing your mind you can just repeat the mantra I let go. I let go where I let these go.
surrendering deeper, letting go even more, you are safe. Letting go of the false sense of security that these limitations have provided you. Maybe they once did keep you safe, but right now they just keep us stuck. And we let them go. We let them go. We let them go. As we all do this collectively, we are releasing them from the conscious collective. We are opening up space. These took up so much energetic space. We are going to be so much more open now to new. Letting go of that resistance, any and all resistance that you've been holding on to. Surrendering this all now, letting it go. It's like certain manifestations or energies, you've been calling them in. They've been bouncing off the resistance, but the resistance is now gone. So they can enter freely and easily. Just allow this process. And you can repeat, I let go of my resistance. I let go of all my resistance. Upon the point of its very first creation, across all lifetimes, timelines, realities, dimensions, this is being done for you on a multi-dimensional level. All versions of you being freed, your soul family, ancestry experiencing this freedom as you are allowing yourself to let it go it has an energetic ripple effect and we allow the energy of grace and the energy of miracles this beautiful, loving Christ consciousness energy to locate any and all wounds within you that may have been created by this resistance or limitations. It may have been the source point that created the limitations or resistance. Could have been both. We are allowing this divine energy to locate the source point the wounds, wherever it began, in this lifetime, past lifetimes, so that it may be healed. Fully and completely. And if any have felt like they've been in a healing cycle, maybe with the same program the same wound just it keeps coming up and up and up surrender and allow this divine intelligence the energy of miracles to heal and clear this from you now I am seeing you being surrounded by benevolent beings of light. For some, these are angels. For others, they're star family, star beings. Placing their hands upon you if you give them your permission to help you, to assist you, to say yes. They're placing their hands upon you and they are giving you what you need. If there are other areas in your life other people 
who you would like to request a healing for, for their highest and best good, you can also call them there. And any and all transmutation, alchemy, healing, releasing is happening ideally in the most ideal way for you, for anyone else. Surrender and just allow yourself to be assisted at this time. When we have a burden or when we have a heavy responsibility, when we can take chunks of that energy and we can disperse it, it's a lot less for us to carry. And that's what I'm seeing. Whether it is your healing journey or you creating your dream life, whatever it is, you're dispersing that energy amongst this team of light beings and they're assisting you. So it's not all just you. And I'm just getting this visual of these light beings coming in and saying, oh, well, this energy needs alchemized. I am great at alchemy. I'm going to alchemize it. And then another being saying, oh, this needs expanded. That's, you know, my forte. I'm going to do this, right? They, they all have different strengths and they're offering these to you now. And as they are assisting you, your own energy is now freeing beyond the point that it's ever been before at least in this lifetime and probably many lifetimes it's freeing it's expanding you are really taking up energetic space no more holding yourself back relaxing into the essence of who you are allowing it to naturally expand, naturally unfold. Like if you take something like an air mattress that was boxed up and then you just let it out of the box and it just naturally unfolds. That's what I'm seeing energetically going on for you right now. And we breathe into our energy and we allow it to expand even more to whatever point we're ready for at this time. And from this space, what are things that you are just done experiencing? And I invite you to look at this through a lens of being unlimited so if you are done experiencing dis-ease set that intention say i'm ready to live in a world without dis-ease without pain without lack without struggle without having to work so hard giving yourself permission right here right now to be unlimited What are you freeing yourself from? What are you letting go of that will not be in your reality moving forward? Set those intentions now. And with everything that you're releasing, see it, the energy imprint of it being sent into that golden light where it is released and transmuted.
feeling your power to say, I'm choosing a reality where this does not exist and it is released from your reality. That is your power. We are conscious creators. Whatever feels good for you, that is your higher self telling you it's time to let it go. It's time to push past the perceived limitations of the old and give ourselves permission to let go without doubt, without holding back. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, just release all the rest of that energy. Everything you're done with. Done, done, done. Gone, gone, gone. Say goodbye to it. Okay. So, the final part of this session is being in the new and allowing it to integrate. Just allowing yourself to be in it. You can do one of two things. If you already have quantum left recently on a conscious intentional level. So if you've done the timeline meditation I put out a couple weeks ago, or if you've done something on your own, then I invite you just to sink into the energy of this highest timeline that you're on. If you have not consciously quantum left and you want to do so now, All you do is set the intention to leap into your highest timeline and you can visualize a door or a portal and you can visualize yourself going through it. And everybody collectively now just bring a quick visual of what your dream life, your dream reality for yourself. If you want to expand it to this world, you can. Bring that visual or those intentions or affirmations into your consciousness, just reaffirming where you are. And now, once that process feels complete, just sink into the being here, the being in this newness, the being in the unknown. In states of love, freedom, abundance, joy, peace that you've never experienced before, at least in this lifetime. the energy of magic, of miracles, and just opening up your energetic field to this highest timeline. We've entered it. Maybe you just entered it now. Maybe it's something that you've been on for a while or a week or two. Sinking into the energetics of it, really allowing it. Allowing it to permeate and completely letting go now to the energetics of it. No visualizing, no affirming, allowing the unfoldment. Allowing an opening for the insights, the downloads, the magic, the miracles, You are worthy of being here.
Thank you for being one of the brave souls to be here, to honor your heart above your perceived limitations, to choose your higher self over your ego. Thinking deeper, allowing this to integrate, starting to ground in this energy, grounding it into your physical body in a way that is safe and gentle and aligned. Grounding it into your reality so that the mirror reflects this new timeline. Grounding it into Mother Earth. Again, shifting her, allowing her to just soak up the energy that we all consciously created together in the session. And when this session is complete, I invite you to continue to allow it to integrate in whatever feels ideal for you. And know that this time period moving forward will be one of integration, whether that takes you an hour, a day, a week, a month, you're here. Give yourself the space and the grace to be here. So we're just now clearing out your space. Any energy that you release is all sent into that light of grace. And all of the light beings are just clearing out your space. And we are disconnecting from this energy, so be it and so it is, we give thanks. Oh, thank you so much for listening to this and being a part of this. Um, yeah, thank you. I do have an angel, uh, angel activation and attunement workshop coming up um, where you will get archangel activations and you will receive an attunement to work deeper with the archangels. I'm very excited about it. If it feels aligned, uh, check out the description. Sorry, sorry. whenever I do like intense energy work like that, it's like hard for me to talk about other things. So anyway, okay, thank you so much, Love and Light. If you're interested in that, um, you can you can look below for it. And I will talk with you next time.